How's it going guys, Zabby here, and today I'm going to be telling you guys the difference between a bottom rod and a float rod. Now, if you're new to the game, you go into the shop, you kind of see all these different kinds of rods, and you kind of get a little bit confused, at least I did at the very beginning, because I wasn't exactly sure what was for what. So basically, a match rod is a float rod, and then a bottom rod is obviously a bottom rod. Now, here's two different setups. This one is the Heavy Chaser 310. This is a very high-end bottom rod. Now, the cool thing about bottom rods is obviously they're meant to be fishing for fish on the bottom. That's why you have a sinker. The sinker drags it down into the bottom of the water and then your bait sits there so this is good for like catfish and sturgeon and stuff honestly i use bottom rods pretty much for everything in this game now i did obviously use float rods at the beginning but now that i am a higher level i use bottom rods for pretty much everything sometimes i will float fish if i need something lighter weight because if you go into the shop here guys you don't even get a bottom rod until 34 so this is definitely a later game thing for sure whereas if you go into match rods you start getting them super early on you can see here, I have a couple of them in my inventory and stuff like that. Uh, but basically, I use bottom rods for almost everything now, except for when I need a lighter weight setup, and then I go to a float rod. You can see here, I have the Majesty 390 here, and this is what my float rod setup looks like. Remember, guys, you will need a leader for a bottom rod always. You will always need a leader for a bottom rod. You don't always need one for uh, a float rod, but if you're going to be doing anything like uh, musky fishing, anything with teeth, you're going to need to put a titanium leader on there because they will bite through it. Now what I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to walk you through building up a setup here. So let's start off with a float rod. So this is a 3 Nix feet, uh, 350. This is a lighter weight float rod setup. So all I'm going to do guys, go ahead, pick a reel out now. You can see here, we got a couple here. So this is 8 kilograms. We're going to go ahead and throw this fat boy spin on there. Uh, we do have some line there, some 8.65 kilogram line. We'll just throw that on there. Now, obviously, you do need a bobber for a float rod, so we're going to go throw one of those on there, and then, I don't know, we'll throw, like, a 5.0 hook on there, and maybe we'll just throw some large minnows on there. So that's how you build a float rod setup. Super, super easy. This is what, if you're new to the game, you're going to be doing this until probably about level 34. Now, once you hit level 34, say you want to buy your first bottom rod setup, let's go to the bottom rod 360, or the bottom sniper 360 here. We're going to go ahead and put this on. So this is about a 16 kilogram uh, kilogram setup here. So let's just throw on anything that can kind of match it. So we got these thunder spins that are 16. That's perfect. See what we have in terms of line. We got some 15.4. That should do the trick. Again, guys, it doesn't have to match exactly, but it's got to be somewhat close. Now, I should have some, uh, some sinkers in here. So here are some sinkers, guys. You can use regular sinkers or you can use carp sinkers. I know some people use carp sinkers just because they like the look of them. If you guys don't know where to get these, go into terminal tackle, go into sinkers, and here you go. Here's all the different types of sinkers that you can get. And you can throw on whichever ones you want. Uh, I prefer the regular sinkers, and then I use carp for carp rods, obviously. I will be doing a video about carp rods. If you guys don't understand the difference between a carp rod and a bottom rod, they are pretty similar, but I will be doing a video on that. Now that we got our sinker on here, we can go ahead and throw a leader on. This is just in the same section as lime. So now that we have a 16 kilogram setup, we got a 16 kilogram reel. We got a 15.4 kilogram line. We need to kind of match the sinker with something around that. So 14.5 kilograms should do the trick. We're going to go ahead and throw that, that leader on there. And let's just throw a hook on. Now, another thing that comes with bottom rods, guys, a lot of people actually have asked this as well is how do you get bells on your rod so bells on your rod only come on bottom rods so if you're if you're seeing these bells on the end of rods that's because they have a bottom rod now you don't have to put a bell on you can take it off say when you get a bite alarm rod stand you don't need to have it on i just leave it on because it's just habit for me at this point to be honest with you uh, so let's go ahead and throw some some more bait on there and that is how you build a bottom rod setup guys now i'm going to show you guys what the difference looks like when you're in game one other thing I want to let you guys know is with bottom rods, you're not controlling where your bait's going to go. But with a float rod, you can see here, you can adjust how deep your bait's going to go. This is especially helpful when you're uh, trying to catch fish that are shallower and stuff. But honestly, if you throw the, the bottom rod where you throw a float rod, you're probably going to end up catching similar stuff anyways. It doesn't seem like the fish are too picky in terms of that. Uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, I use bottom rods almost everywhere I go. I hardly use float rods anymore. 
So definitely later game, I just started using bottom rods all the time. Early game, there is a bunch of really, really good float rods you guys can use. And honestly, you can't go wrong with almost any of them. Uh, you just got to match your weight for the fish you're going after for the float rod you're going to want to get. All right, so we're going to head to uh, a location here. I'm going to show you guys the differences of the bottom rod and the float rod in game. All right, guys, so I decided to come to Emerald here. That way, it's a little bit more early game setup. You guys can see what this looks like when you are at Emerald. Now, what I'm going to be using is 1-0 barbless hooks. I'm going to be using shiners. You can definitely use small minnows. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show you guys is depending on the bait you have on, you will see it will pop up. Terminal tackle is optimal. When you change it around and such, um, it could end up saying like, oh, this is too heavy or whatnot. Don't worry about that too much. I think I can get it on this one. Yeah, so you see here, I put large minnows. It says the terminal tackle is too heavy for the rod. Honestly, it will do a little bit more damage and wear and tear to your setup, but it's not such a huge deal that you necessarily need to worry about it. So if you do see that, don't worry about it too much. Another thing is when you're using different sinker sizes, if you put on something that's too light, it uh, here, let me go to this one. You put on something that's too light, it will say it's too heavy or too light. Uh, I think, yeah, there we go. So 225 gram sinker is too heavy for this rod. So I'll throw that one back on there. And then if you go to this one, it's going to say it's too light for this rod. So just keep that in mind. It's not a really a huge deal, guys. But just mess around with your setup. See what sinkers are going to fit and be optimal. And just use those every single time. I'm going to go ahead here, throw another shiner on there. So we should have shiners on all of them now. I'm going to go pretty deep with the float rods. I'm going to go to like 120 here with the float rods. So again, this is the difference, guys, really, is you can really micromanage how deep you want your bait to be going with the flow rods. So all we're going to do is head up to the dock here in Emerald. We're going to make sure we're in peak time, which we somewhat are. And I will cast these out, guys. So you can see here, here is the heavy chaser bottom rod. This is an end game bottom rod. We're just going to cast out towards a tree there. You can see how far we can cast with this type of setup. You can cast with pretty far with the bottom rods. So we're just going to go out to about there. Should be good. And now you guys can see in action, one of the pros for using a bottom rod is that you can clip your line. So see how it says down there, 63 meters is clipped. That means every time I cast that rod, as long as I get it near the, the line, which you'll see when I recast here in a second, it will cast automatically back out to 63 meters, which makes it a little bit quicker. You can just quick cast out and stuff like that, which is perfect for when you're just fishing the same spot over and over and over again. So you can see here, here's the flow rods. Uh, this one can't cast that far, but it is a lower level rod. See there, throw that one out. And then here's our bottom sniper. And every single bottom rod guys can clip. So you'll see once I do this, we'll clip this one. There you go. So that one's clipped at 37. So you see if I reel it in now guys, which I'll do pretty quickly here. Once I go to recast it, you guys will see a little bar that's kind of like marked off. It says 60 or it says 37 meters. So I'll do one here. You can see here. There you go. It says clip there. So if I go like up here, it's uh, still going to go to 37. It's going to bounce around. You still want to kind of get it around there. And if you do go shorter, it will go shorter. But this is helpful for quick casting like so. You can see like I was a little bit short on that one. So it's going to be a little bit shorter, but still. Uh, you will never go over that casting distance, which is very helpful when you're just fishing the same spot over and over and over again. And uh, that's why I honestly use bottom rods over float rods. They're just a little bit easier to get to the same spot over and over again. You see there, hit it right at 37. We do have a fish on, fish on a float rod. Uh, the, the other difference between them mainly is I find bottom rods to be a little bit more heavy duty, of course, if you have similar weights. For both rods, it's not going to be a big deal. Like the Majesty here is an end game float rod. It can handle everything pretty decently. And uh, the only other thing I really noticed is a difference between them is uh, in those battles where you have a fish like kind of close up to you, uh, the float rods seem to pull them in a little bit further away so that you could be at like 10 meters and the float rod pulls them in. Whereas with the bottom rods, you can get them down to like three or four and it's not going to bring them in. So it really, it depends on how you want to fish, guys. But again, bottom rods aren't available until later in the game. And you don't really need them until later in the game, to be completely honest. Once you start going for sturgeon, big catfish, stuff like that, then their, their weight is very, very good for those early on. Other than that, guys, there's not too much left to say about it. If you guys don't know the difference between them still after the video, make sure to leave a comment. I will try and answer any questions you guys need. But this is something that I get asked about all the time. 
So I wanted to make a quick video on it. I will show uh, me reeling in a couple different fish here with the bottom rods, the float rods. So here's another fish on the Majesty here. You can see that depth is working pretty quickly. I uh, should be another walleye. It's actually a pike. But since we caught two on this float rod, I'm going to go... I'm not going to throw this one back in the water. And we are going to go ahead and just try and catch some fish on these last three rods here. All right, guys. We got one on the bottom sniper here. Just so you guys can see a little bit difference in how fast it reels. And there really isn't too much because you can share reels and stuff like that between rods. And the walleye are pretty small. But you can kind of see here the, the bottom rods are definitely a little bit more bendy. And uh, are definitely more useful for things like surgeon and stuff. But honestly, guys, there's not really much of a difference. Um, it's just kind of how you prefer to fish. If you like having the customizability of having your bait at a certain depth and stuff like that. Then go ahead and use a float rod. You like the fact that you can just whip out a bottom rod there and catch everything pretty easily. And it's a little bit heavy dutier. Go ahead and use a bottom rod. You could rock a mix of both though, guys. Really, it does not matter how you fish. I just wanted to give a quick little video explaining the difference between the two guys. So there you go. There's the difference between bottom rods and float rods. One thing I wanted to show you guys quickly is a direct comparison between the rods and the level. So you can see here the 34 bottom sniper. It maxes out about 14 kilogram for line weight. The bottom sniper 36 or 330, which comes out at 36, is 15 kilograms. And then the bottom sniper 360 is 16 kilograms. So we go into match rods here, guys. And we just go on over. You can see here the Brutus is actually a little bit better in weight at 34. But it kind of maxes out at around the same. So it really is up to you guys what you want to do here, all right? So don't feel pressured into doing one thing or the other. They're both good options. It really just depends on how you want to fish. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Ring the bell so you don't miss a single video. Check out the description for links to my other social media platforms like Twitch, where I stream five days a week. Come hang out live. It's a lot of fun. Also, make sure to come type a comment. Tell me to catch more fish or whatever you guys want. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.